Tonight, Austin police are searching for a teenager they believe killed one man and injured 14 others in a mass shooting earlier this month on East 6th Street. A 19-year-old is wanted for murder, and the Travis County District Attorney has actually dropped previous charges against two young suspects who have been in police custody for about a week now. KXAN's Avery Travis has a closer look at what led to the change in direction for this investigation. Avery? APD says based on new witness statements, videos, and even ballistic evidence, they now know DeAndre White fired the shots that killed Cantor and injured 14 others. That's what they told us today, despite previous evidence pointing to two other teenagers. Police say they actually interviewed White after the shooting, but now he's changed his hair and appearance and he's gone into hiding. It's unbelievable is what it is. Frustration doesn't begin to describe how Doug Cantor's family feels more than 10 days after losing him in a mass shooting on 6th Street. You know, each time it was like, this is the guy and now here we go, both of them are walking and we don't even have another guy. Interim Police Chief Joe Jacone explained that sometimes information they get proves to be incorrect. So even though two previous suspects, 17-year-old Jeremiah Tab and another 15-year-old, may have had guns in their possession, the Travis County DA says with no evidence they fired any shots, they're instead focusing on finding and prosecuting DeAndre White. He will be charged with murder and he will be held accountable. I understand that there is a rush in a case like this to try to make an arrest, to try to assure the public that everything is safe. I just wish that it had been a little bit more thorough. Jeremiah Tabb's attorney, John Evans, says his client didn't cut any sort of deal, but instead evidence cleared his name. You have 14 people and their families who blame him for what happened to them on 6th Street, and he is not to blame for this. Evans doesn't believe he'll have to fight any charges facing Tab in the future, but the Travis County DA says they haven't ruled anything out in this case. And at the point that the investigation is concluded, we will also evaluate the conduct of every person involved and make appropriate charging decisions at that time. But the Cantor family thinks that time is now, saying they want justice for anybody involved. They were all involved, they were all there, and they should all have some charges brought against them, not just the one guy who pulled the trigger. Austin police says White is armed and dangerous, and they believe that he's still in Killeen. Anyone who knows where he might be should call police right now. Once he's arrested, his bond has been set at $1 million.